Hey, Cody Raw here with Tech for Psych. This week, I'm going to do a bit of a product review and talk about a couple of things that are coming out in the marketplace that are pretty exciting. If you haven't noticed by now, I've got this little gizmo on top of my head here. And what this is, is the NeuroSky MindWave EEG device. So what, it's, what it does is it actually reads my brain waves and translates that into computer programming. Now, NeuroSky has been around since 2011, and I really give them praise for being the first company that has um, sold this type of technology to the general consumer. Uh, you can get a headset like this for $100, and since it's been around since 2011, a lot of different apps have been developed for it that you can download once you get the hardware. Um, there's a game where you can levitate a ball by relaxation. There's a game where you can concentrate on a barrel and actually make it catch on fire and explode just by concentrating on it. And it does that through reading your brain waves and analyzing the ratios and translating that into things that actually happen in the game. Now, this is really a type of biofeedback technology. And there's a big surge in biofeedback technology right now in the marketplace that's really interesting. There's things like Fitbit, Google Watch, a lot of other wearable technology that is giving objective data on our physiological function throughout the day. Now, you might ask, well, why is that really important? Well, let me ask you a question. Last Wednesday, two weeks before that, can you remember how your emotional state was throughout the day? Probably not. But if you had been keeping track, you could take a look back on that day and see how you're doing and compare it to this week or last month or even last year. It's kind of this amazing information that you could use especially if you're doing some sort of meditation or exercise program that's continually making yourself better. Any type of self-improvement would really benefit from this type of optimization of data that you get from this biofeedback technology. Uh, in Tech for Psych, I'll be mostly focusing on EEG headsets because that is what corresponds most closely to behavioral health and what I find my interest in the most. So there's a couple of other companies that are coming online right now that are actually really exciting. As I said, NeuroSky, it's been around since 2011. The only drawbacks to this one is that, as you can see, it's only one sensor. Um, decent for analyzing brainwaves in the frontal lobe and corresponding to emotional states, but probably not enough information if you want to do something like brain-computer interface. Now, there is another company called Muse that is coming out with a new product here in 2014 that is pretty exciting. It's a band that goes around your head. It's got five sensors, so that's a lot more data that it can work with. Um, it looks like they're going to be selling the product for $300. We'll see if that penetrates into the consumer market, if people actually want to buy something like that. But their advertising is interesting. They advocate a minimum of three, day, three, three minutes a day of just relaxation training and tracking that over time to improve your ability to relax during the day. Um, another company that's actually really exciting that I'm rooting for mostly is called Emotive. Um, a neuroscientist called Tan Lee is leading that charge with Emotive. Uh, you can take a look at her 2010 TED video where she talks about this technology and they had the Emotive Epoch. Now that thing had 14 channels and really could be used for things like brain-computer interface. Now, four years later, they're coming out with two new products, the Emotive Epoch Plus, which has got the 14 channel and can be used for brain-computer interface. If you take a look at their Kickstart channel, it's amazing because they were shooting for raising $100,000, but they actually raised $1.5 million in order to develop the product and to uh, get it started to get the product ready for selling to consumers. Um, so that Epoch Plus that's coming out now actually sells for $500, but it's more tailored towards researchers. As you can imagine, with the 14 channels, you get a lot more brainwave data that you can correspond in a brain-computer interface. They've actually got a second product called the Emotive Insight that sells for $300. And you, as you can imagine, it'll probably be competing with the Muse to get into general consumers in order to provide biofeedback information for consumers that want to use it to track their product, their progress throughout weeks, months, and years. Now, when I talk about this biofeedback technology, I just think of, like, why is this stuff important? Why would people want to get this kind of information? Um, and it actually reminds me of a self-help author that was, um, his name was Earl Nightingale, and he was in the 1950s. And Earl Nightingale's main thing was, 
a person becomes what they think about most of the time. So Earl Nightingale was talking about the image that you hold in your head of where you're going in the future and who you want to become. As long as you're moving towards that goal and taking care of and taking advantage of opportunities that come your way, you can become that person. And as long as you're moving towards that goal each and every day, you're more likely to reach it. Now, another story that Earl Nightingale used to tell was about sailors that went to explore Antarctica. And they were the first people there. And they actually became frightened when they saw icebergs moving against the wind in Antarctica. They didn't understand it because they were in their ships, which were powered by the wind with their sails, and the iceberg was moving against the wind. And only until they learned the fact that the iceberg had a lot more ice underneath the water that moved with the ocean current against the wind on the top of the water allowed the iceberg to actually move against the wind. And Earl Nightingale talked about, you know, a person should be like that. No matter what turbulence, no matter what wind is happening above the surface of the water, you should always be moving with your current towards your goals. And I think that biofeedback technology like this can teach people to manage their emotions throughout the day so that they can reach their goals, kind of like the iceberg with the current underneath the water. Also, one can imagine that once this technology really gets online and we have things like Google Glass or other eye tracking technology, you can imagine a future where people would be focusing on certain things and this type of technology could keep track of what interested you, what you were concentrating on most. Maybe if you were in school and you had different classes, it could take a look at really what you were interested in most. And being connected to the internet, it could pull resources and suggest those resources to you so that not only did you know what you were most interested in and probably were most passionate about, it could gather resources for you so that you could get towards your goals even faster. And one can imagine that for the individual, that'd be great, and also for overall society. If everybody had goals they wanted to work towards, uh, one could imagine that society would be a lot more productive in that way. So that's all I had for you this week. Uh, I've got stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, there is Oculus Rift, which is the most immersive, realistic virtual reality. Uh, simulation is actually coming to DC, so I'm going to check that out and post a review video on that. And also I want to talk about some new magnets that are being developed called atomic magnometers that are really going to reduce overhead cost and hopefully make my favorite technology, the magnetic encephalography, more widespread and applicable to everybody, everyday life. So this is Cody Raw with Tech for Psych. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Hey, this is Cody Raw with Tech for Psych. If you're interested in learning more about how science and technology is being used to improve mental health in everyday life, check out one of the videos below and be sure to subscribe to my Tech for Psych YouTube channel.